The education department has moved to more tightly monitor three mental health courses at Chisholm's TAFE online arm following an ABC investigation into the institute. The courses were found to be non-compliant with industry standards, meaning about 200 students have been delayed in finishing their qualifications and have been left questioning the quality of them. Jessica Longbottom reports. Selby MacDonald was just days away from gaining her online certificate for in mental health with Chisholm Online. She was offered a job as a support worker in April. The provider just needed to see her final qualification. And that's when we found out that unfortunately the course was not up to standards and it was being put on hold um, until further notice. Good morning, this is Selby. How may I help you today? Now she's still working as a receptionist from home and has no idea when she'll be finished. Now here we are mid-July and still no um, certificate and we've been given another 14 assessments to complete uh, and told to redo the ones that we already did as well. Vocational education experts say the situation is a result of poor regulation and a lack of funding in the TAFE sector. Because the TAFE system has been so underfunded, they've been forced into this position of uh, having to develop private arms, private operations, in order to get funds to be able to do what they need to do. The ABC has learned while Chisholm TAFE is a public institution, Chisholm Online is a private entity. The students have probably been enrolled in this online have enrolled at Chisholm TAFE and then Chisholm TAFE have outsourced the con conduct of the program to this private company. A private entity uh, won't employ the same standard of teachers uh, as uh, a, a TAFE and what we know is certainly the resources available uh, are far superior in our TAFEs. In a statement, Chisholm Institute said it strongly rejects the assertions. Chisholm Online is not a private provider, but is a controlled entity of Chisholm Institute. Chisholm Online courses are subject to the same quality and regulatory standards of all Chisholm courses. Students have been writing letters to the state government since February about the issues at Chisholm TAFE. But it's only now, six months later, the government has decided to take action, ordering the education department to more closely monitor the delivery of the affected courses. I think the way that they have treated us is pretty cruel, actually. The Ombudsman is also making inquiries. Jessica Longbottom, ABC News, Melbourne.